At this point, I'd like to mention I've, I've never seen whatever show this is. You've never seen Boy Meets World? No. Oh, you're missing out. It's an amazing show. Well, I was born in 89. Here we go. Yep, this is... this. <laughs> <laughs> the black and white spat. <laughs> So, this is the part of the show where I give Ash a little question. Oh, no, sorry, not a question. I give him a word or a phrase from something that most normal people normal would know what it means. Who wants and to be Ash normal looks anyway? at me blank. What is a bassoon? A bassoon? Yeah. Not a, not a balloon? No, do you want me to spell it? A baboon. Swap. Swap um, can the you use two it in L's a, Can in you use balloon. it in a sentence? <laughs> oh, sorry, not two L's. The one, can you swap use the one L in balloon. A bassoon. Can you use it in a, in a sentence, please? Uh, yes. Ash doesn't know what a bassoon <laughs> is. <laughs> Dickhead. Um, it, do, you know what, do you know what? It sounds like... Go on. It sounds like a musical instrument. Oh, you're right. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Come on. Oh, do you know what? I genuinely didn't know. Yeah. But something in my head went from like I thought I year, an instrument. Tw- year yeah. twelve, year twelve, year nine, <laughs> six <ball>. music. <laughs> it's a double reeded woodwind instrument. Oh yeah, it's like a like a. You'd know about but... you'd know about wood, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know about wind. You know, hundred <laughs> percent. I'm twenty eight. I'm twenty eight, and I've, seen, yes. and I've seen it. See lemon squeezers now. You, you've seen Nick's wood wind. Diminutive. Diminutive. That's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Right, go on and ask. Right. I reckon diminutive mm-hmm. means really small. Yes. Well done. Like your Top lad. Thumbs up. Thumbs like up. Like your penis. <laughs> 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 I just heard that a lot. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I speak from experience, my man. <laughs> what is the taming of the shrew? What? The taming of the shrew. Taming of the shrew. Yes. As in like a shrew, like an animal. An animal, yes. <sighs> if I so said this to is you... a, I was expecting a word, not a bloody phrase. Well like, what's going on? Taming of the shrew. The taming of the shrew. Oh. What is the taming of the shrew, Ashley? I don't know. Sounds like some sort of grooming procedure. <laughs> 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 Have you ever tamed your shrew? <laughs> what does surreptitiously mean? <laughs> it's something surreptitious. Do you want to say that again for me? Something surreptitiously. Say that again? Surreptitiously. Yeah. Can you spell it for me? Uh, yeah. S U W R E P T I T I O U S L Y. Oh. Oh, surreptitiously, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've yeah, got yeah. it now, haven't you? Yeah, no. I thought you had. No, no, no. Surreptitiously. Surreptitiously. Can you, can you, surrup, yeah? Yeah. Does anyone, Chris knows it, obviously. <sighs> Is it nothing to do with Surrey? <laughs> Is the... Ashley Nugent. Don't last name me on the pod, brother. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> what is a sommelier? A what? <laughs> What is a sommelier? A sommelier. Sommelier. Do you want me to spell that, it for you? Can you use it in a sentence? Don't press enter, James, because you'll see it on the screen. It, um... And don't say Ash doesn't know what a sommelier is. I hate that one. <laughs> right, I'll spell it for you. It's S O M M E L I E R. It sounds like like an, an Italian football player. You could be hey, sommelier. What you could be like I'm feeding you. I don't know, like. Is it someone that likes to like dress up as an animal? <laughs> so close. <laughs> Is it? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, FPL Noble Joke. It's a wine expert. It's a wine expert. So if you went to like a if you went to like a nice restaurant, yeah. they may have a sommelier there who can recommend you certain wines to go with certain oh, foods. Oh right, and... okay. What is mm. FBR Viking, big you can you do it, mate. You, you can, can do, do it. it. You can do it. Yes, Ashley. Ulrich, I can do this, man. I can do this. Do you know mm. what a dystopia is? A dystopia. Yeah. A dystopia. Yeah. Not a utopia. Oh, you're on the right lines. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Um, a bit like basically lockdown crappy. in 2021. Yeah, yeah, utopia is like a dream world. Yeah, and a that's dystopia. The there you go. Yes. Undesirable or frightening. Cool. I'm having that. Okay. 
you know what? I, I got that from just watching movies, man. I thought movies. You might. That's where you learn stuff. You're learning. All of your knowledge has but, yeah. come from Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> the word for you this week is quintessential. 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 <laughs> yes, quintessential. Quint, quint essential. Not just essential. <laughs> Not, not a sin. It's is not something to do with being essential. Something that's five times as essential as anything else. Um, quintessential is nothing to do with being essential. No, of course it is. It's got essential in the word. Do you want to have a guess before James? Uh, hits that well, it's something that only posh people use. I know that. I know that much. Well, is it? Is it something that you would? When use... you say posh, do you just mean people with matching shoes? I mean, is like... that the is that the bar that you set for posh? I have matching shoes sometimes. <laughs> Only because you wear two left ones that you It start depends with. if the person that I steal them off is wearing matching shoes or not. <laughs> Basically like typical. So something that's quintessentially British would be Representing like... Representing the perfect or typical example of quality yes, or class. Yeah. If I was standing in the sun barbecuing some shrimps with yeah. like a cork hat, like a you know, thing with corks hanging down yeah. with a kangaroo in my hand, that was quintessentially... <laughs> It's quintessentially Australian. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Kangaroo in your hand. Ash. Yeah. Do you know what what Siam was? And that's a clue. I'm giving you a big clue there. Do you know what Siam S I A M was? Siam. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been to Tenerife? <laughs> Have you been? Yes, yes. There's a great park there called Siam Park. Okay. It's a water park. This could give it's you a amazing. Clue. Persia? There's no country called Persia now, that... Ashley. You can't go. Yeah. Is that, that right? No, Iran is Persia, Ashley. Is it? <laughs> there's no oh, Persia. Right. Per- the Prince of Persia. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a Persian. <laughs> Siam is the country that was Thailand. Right, okay. What does. Yeah. Frugal mean. Frugal. Yeah. F R U G A L. Frugal. Yeah. I can tell you no, by the way, you're saying. Uh, what? <laughs> you look like you know. Nah, is it some sort of fruit? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I know. Do you want some frugal? You want some frugal? Come over, come on, <laughs> man, frugal. Got some frugal. For you. Make out some plantain, make out right, some mango, make out what, some frugal. So do you know what frugal is? I think, I know this one. I think frugal you should means this. it's uh, a bit like my hair. Mm. It's um, um, it's sparing, sparse, not meant, not much of it. What I want to know is... Yeah, why do I feel nervous? <laughs> Do you know yeah. what an ampersand is? Ampersand. Ampersand. Well, an amp, an amp is to do with some sort of sound <laughs> frequency or wave. Uh, ampersand. I, do you know what? I have no idea. What an, is it something to do with music? Is it musical? No. no I have no idea. A-M-P-E-R-S-A-N-D. <clears throat> I like the way you guess you... music because you got lucky with uh, the huh? soon once and you think, oh, this might be another <laughs> instrument. Ampersand. Ampersand. Do you know? <laughs> yeah, I yes, went to James school. went to school. It is a type of beach. Oh, <laughs> so close. Is it? No. <laughs> Ashley. Yo. What does arbitrary mean? If I was to say that something was arbitrary. Right. <laughs> I would say <laughs> yes, yes. I would say go on that it had a negative connotation. Incorrect. <laughs> it means random. Like, he was homeschooled, yeah. man. Like he, he knows all yeah. this stuff. I wasn't homeschooled. You if, any, if you're homeschooled, you're probably less likely because you've just been oh, breastfed sorry. until you're twelve. I've learned something. Today. Is that it's what you were? Good... You were breastfed until you're twelve. <laughs> if you go, if you're homeschooled, are you? <laughs> Hold tight, the guy we used to work with was homeschooling his kids. <laughs> Do you know, Ash, mm. what arduous means? Arduous? Yeah. A-R-D-U-O-U-S. Uh, I'm like Ash in this segment. I'm also learning. <laughs> <laughs>